Hey guys, Twisted Maxi here. I've been working on the visual effects update for Creator World the last few months, and I've taken a small break to focus on some other mod improvements. I've got something for better build by coming down the pipe very soon, but today we're taking a look at better exceptions. As of last week, Better Exceptions has an update in Early Access that brings a long requested feature. A Conflict Detector Conflicts can cause your mods and your game to behave unexpectedly and often results in a player having to turn to a support forum or using trial and error to find the conflicts in their mods. With Better Exceptions Conflict Detector, any conflicts that may be causing issues in-game will be scanned and reported for the player with a click of a button. Players who have followed me or have visited my Discord know that both I and my staff have historically been against conflict detectors. This is because existing conflict detectors can be too vague and sometimes misleading on what the actual issue is. By design, my conflict report will not focus on duplicates or any other sort of mod issue. Better Exceptions already has other reports for that stuff, so when you choose to run a conflict report, it will only show mod conflicts and only if the conflict would actually result in a detrimental or unexpected experience in-game. For example, my Better Build By and Build Cam mods conflict, because Better Build By has the Build Cam feature already, as well as other functionality. If you have both, it will cause Better Build By to not function correctly, and as such, these would show as a conflict on the report. However, if I had two copies of Build Cam, it wouldn't be on the report because even though a resource is being modified by two different mod files, the changes are identical, so it doesn't matter. I'm aware some creators out there have mod files that conflict on purpose, due to them being an add-on. Since these are still technically conflicts and do result in an altered experience, they do show on the report, but in an effort to reduce modders being bothered by confused players, the report does badge any possible add-ons it finds as being an intentional override. It also has a green background to help convey that it's probably fine. Another consideration I've taken into account is that TS4 script files are actually read, then broken down and compared by module to any other script mods, instead of all TS4 script files just being flagged as an invalid file. This means if you were to put two similar mods in, like Wonderful Whims and Wicked Whims, the script file would show as a conflict properly on the report. Even with the amount of effort I've put in to make this report as concise as possible, I'm sure there will still be scenarios out there where this report could be improved farther. As such, if you choose to participate in the Early Access, I do implore you to report anything you think may be a mistake in my Discord server. If you're a creator, and you want to report a false conflict with one of your mods, you'll find I'm very responsive at my Discord server, so please don't hesitate to stop in either. This type of report isn't something I would recommend running frequently. Instead, my advice is to run it specifically if you suspect there may be a conflict and don't know what it is, or if you just want to do a cleanup once every few months. In order to run it, you can go to the Better Exceptions welcome menu that appears in your notifications when you first load a household. Click on the Better Exceptions menu and select Check for Conflicts. Allow the report to run for a few minutes, longer if you have an excessive amount of mods or an old hard drive, and the report will open in your browser when done. When the report opens, you'll see a File A and File B column. Each row represents a conflict between the File A and File B. There are some special cases we'll need to discuss in just a minute, but for most players, using the report is simple. If you are confident a conflict exists between File A and File B and is causing poor game behavior, you must choose whether you want to remove file A or file B for that row. Whichever file you pick, remove the complete mod that file belongs to if it's a multi-file mod. This is also why mod removal must be done by the player. Better Exceptions has no way to ensure it removes the complete mod, so allowing players to delete the mods from Better Exceptions would be irresponsible and lead to more issues than you started with. In order to take as much accountability as possible for any reported conflicts, the report does include an expandable conflict list, which lists all of the resources that BE used to determine there was a conflict. For most players, this list probably won't mean much to you, but it is extremely helpful for modders and myself if someone happens to claim BE is listing a false conflict. For XML files, namely tuning mods, additional processing is done to make sure false positives are even less likely. It also includes a spyglass icon which will list the line number that the first difference occurs on when you hover over it. 
which is again extremely helpful for the creators of the conflicting mods. As I stated a few minutes ago, there are certain mods out there where the creator has intentionally created a conflict in order to create optional add-ons for their main mod. While these are technically conflicts and they will show in the report, BE makes an effort to flag these with a green badge that states it is likely an intentional override. Farther, when the player hovers over this badge, it elaborates on exactly what I've just stated. If you are a player running this report and see a conflict with this badge, know that this should likely be ignored, especially if both files are from the same creator. And finally, at the bottom of the report, we just have some small statistics. It tells you how many conflicts were found out of how many total mod files and how long the report took to generate. The public release is scheduled for January 19th, 2023, but if you would like to support me, you can test it early right now by joining me on Patreon. The support is always greatly appreciated. When the mod does go public, you can of course download it for free at twistedmexi.com. Thanks everyone, and I hope you have a good day.